And out of the pandemic, New York City is now offering free second COVID booster shots to those who qualify. That includes New Yorkers over 50 and those with compromised immune systems. CBS 2's John Diaz has reaction. I have asthma, high blood pressure. Which is why 67-year-old Joseph Adams says it's urgent he gets a COVID booster shot. He plans on going right after his knee surgery next week. As soon as I'm able to facilitate walking, bang. I'm going. I already have someone that's waiting, going to be waiting with the shot. Starting today, the second booster is available at city run sites and all Rite Aid locations in New York to those who qualify. The CDC recommends them to immunocompromised individuals and people over the age of 50 who received an initial booster dose at least four months ago. Get yourself protected. Don't fool around with it. I will take it because my brother got COVID and he almost died. Yesterday, President Joe Biden got his second booster. He is urging Congress to approve billions of dollars in new COVID funding, warning without it, his administration may not be able to pay for boosters come fall. First booster, very important. Second booster, also important, even though we're not precisely sure what level of antibody counts is enough. More is certainly better. Peter Pitts is the president of the Center for Medicine in the Public Interest and the former FDA associate commissioner. He says it's also imperative more people get vaccinated, not just boosted. More than 89% of New Yorkers have at least one dose. A little more than 76% are fully vaxxed. It's time to bridge the divide, take politics out of it, and recognize that vaccination really is our most important tool. This comes as hospitalizations and deaths are decreasing in the city, but cases are on the rise. The highest rate is among 25 to 34-year-olds. The city's health commissioner tweeting, now is not the time to be complacent. And currently, New York City has a low COVID alert level, but if that is upgraded to a medium alert level, that's when local leaders may consider adding more COVID restrictions. From the Upper West Side, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.